What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we have a brand new download on Global and also on Japan for the upcoming Pirate Alliance Kizuna Clash. Now one thing that we can 100% confirm via the download is that this is going to be a Pirate Alliance Super Boss Kizuna Clash. It has actually been a little bit since Global has had a Super Boss but look forward to it because this is going to be one of them and uh, in this Sugo Fest it's going to be introducing all of the previous Kizuna Clash characters that we hadn't had, the ones that had come out during the, the month of Yamato, the Halloween Kizuna, and also the one that came out with Don Creek Pirates. We never had those units released either, on top of the fact that we have two brand new characters being Ace and Marco, and these are not Sugo Fest exclusive characters, so you don't have to worry about that. So there's that, but then there's also the announcement of a brand new support banner bringing along two new characters characters for global being Sabo and Mihawk. Now Mihawk has been on Japan for quite a while now. He's finally making his debut for global and Sabo is going to be a brand new debuting character. Let's start off with the support banner. Um, this is pretty cool though because you see that the first multi is 30 gems. It does say it down there but it also says that there's a support rare recruit exclusive guaranteed. So you're guaranteed a support unit on the 11th pull there or the 11th unit of the first multi. But then after it you got a recommended character for the second step which you, you're guaranteed to get one of these four units all four of these support rare recruits are amazing by the way like there's literally no bad choice they're all great we'll go through what Sabo and Mihawk do in a moment but then step three four guaranteed support unit another recommended unit on the sixth another support unit on the 8th, and then Sabo is guaranteed on the 10th. This is a good support banner. If you're going to choose to pull on a support banner, this is one to go for. This is great. Um, let's actually go through what the two new characters do. We'll start off with Mihawk though, because Mihawk, I mean, most people know, or at least some people know what Mihawk does, because of course he had already debuted on Japan. Actually, he's got Rumble stuff. Okay, we'll have to have a look at that as well. But his support, it will attach to Int Slasher or Int Free Spirit characters. So there's a pretty vast amount of characters that you can attach to. And it says that it reduces the HP by 15% at the end of the turn for one turn. So it allows you to get around resilience. Also set all enemies defense to zero and also reduce the supported characters cooldown by two turns at the start of the final battle. That is such a good support effect. As soon as you reach the last stage of a fight, all of these effects will activate simultaneously, which is just ridiculous. I mean, defense to zero in a support uh, when it activates on the final stage is ridiculous the minus two cooldown is a little bit niche but can be definitely useful but then the end of turn damage to get around resilience is super cool so mihawk very very good support what is his rumble stuff attack and speed up level five to slashes and then his special is slasher teammates level six attack and also wow he's actually not awful in rumble what the heck I mean, he's got a 30 cost, so it's a little bit higher than PvP Rare Recruits. Actually surprising. Um, so that's the breakdown of, of Mihawk. He's a really good support unit, as well as also the Mr. 3, who I actually don't have. I really hope I can get this guy, and also Brulee. But then there's the new Sabo character. By the way, have a look at this artwork. This artwork might be one of the coolest artworks we've seen in the game. It is amazing. But let's actually go through what this character's support does. So this support attaches to Luffy and Ace. No surprise there. It reduces the whole team's despair and special bind by two turns and reduces defense up by two turns and makes perfects easier to hit for one turn at the start of the final battle another support that activates on the final stage it's such a good effect because all of these effects activate for the whole team and then defense up removal as well and attaching to luffy and ace that's great there's so many good luffy and aces in the game unfortunately it is a sabo character which means that you don't get access to like sabo ace for example like you can't attach it to that unit but nonetheless, uh, regardless of that, it is still a very useful support rare recruit that will definitely see a lot of play. Um, this is probably the best support banner we've ever had in the game's history. Uh, so I wouldn't be shocked if a lot of people out there are going to opt to pull on this banner. If you're going to do any, I just recommend doing the 30 gem multi. I think 30 gem multi to get a guaranteed support unit. I think that's completely fair. Up to you though. If you are free to play, like 100% raw free to play, you probably want to avoid it still. Not a bad banner though. Let's make our way 
over to this one here though, the Kizuna Clash banner, um, about the super boss Kizuna Clash, of course. Now, you see that the first multi is going to be 30 gems, and the last unit of the multi is guaranteed to be a, like, a Kizuna Clash unit, basically. Um, then we've got a recommended unit, which is great, because literally all the characters on the banner are new characters, aside from Toki, who is obviously a reappearing character. It just means that if you get a red poster on that recommended step, you're guaranteed to get Togi. Then you've got an, a Legend on the fourth multi. We don't know what Legends are available yet, but I would assume most, if not all, of the Kizuna Clash Legends should be available. We've also got the new Ace or Marker guaranteed. You get one of them on the fifth multi, which is great. Then you've got a Class Pickup character once again on the sixth. And then you've got, like, you know, all these cycling steps all the way. Uh, you guaranteed new Ace and Marker on the 20th, but that's a little bit steep. I don't recommend doing 20 multis on this banner. But let's break down all of these brand new characters. There's a lot to go through first of which is going to be robin this artwork though goes kind of crazy uh special ability of robin reduces threshold and paralysis by five turns and also gives two times all boost to the crew if your health is above 50 percent when you launch the special it nullifies all damage from quick and psi characters for one turn um, pretty good. Uh, not a terrible special. Um, don't know where you're going to use this too much. Nullification of damage specials aren't super useful, unless if you're literally trying to tank a death hit, but a little bit too niche for my liking, but at least the utility is actually like pretty good, and there's lots of good Robin supports out there, so that's good. Um, let's have a look at the support effect. Attaching to Chopper and Kinemon, if the support character uses their special, reduces threshold by one, and then boosts the slot effects of the unit by 1.5. Unfortunately, it's only just for the supported character, not the whole team, and it's only one one turn of threshold don't know how i feel about that uh crewmate effects it does make the whole team's int slots beneficial that's pretty good um not an awful unit though but you know just one of many units that are available here the next one is going to be a chopper and usopp character not a dual unit but chopper and usopp together as one character a dex shooter free spirit reduces defense up and resilience by five crew's block bomb recovery tandem and unfavorable slots are changed to matching and gives a 1.0 chain boost for one turn yeah this is a really good special the orb manipulation is phenomenal i mean the fact that they get rid of unfavorable and also block slots like that's huge and then just adding recovery tandem bomb on top of it um decent utility i suppose resilience removal isn't the best but defense up is great removal and then just adding chain boost on top of it like actually pretty good deck slots are matching for the whole team crew is immune to blindness that's actually kind of niche you don't see too many units that just allow you to completely get rid of that Let's have a look at their support. Robin or Kinemon, if they if the enemy activates defense up or resilience, it reduces it by one. Okay, only removing it by one is not the best, but not awful though. Not awful. And then the last of these Straw Hat characters is we have Frankie. Frankie is a Dex Powerhouse Free Spirit, reducing five turns of attack down, locks your slots for one turn, and then reduces Rainbow Shield, the damage reduction by five turns, and then gives you a two times attack boost to all characters for one turn. Again, like pretty good. Like you got a bit of utility, a bit of like, uh, you know, like all blocking, all manipulation stuff, and then also just a boost. Like actually, like pretty good. This is a good special ability. And then Crewmate Effects, Nothing too crazy though, a bit of damage against quick, like nothing like to make a certain slot beneficial. That's a little disheartening. Uh, having a look at the support, Usopp or Kinemon, if they use a special, reduces attack down by one and then boost that character's attack by 1.5. Uh, one turn attack down removal is okay, but at the same time, there's another Frankie that is better attack down removal that activates upon special. The Arena Frankie, free to play unit, attaches to, I guess it, it does change the unit that it attaches to, I guess. But at the same time, it's a two turn attack down removal, so technically that's still better. Um, but the special ability is really good for this Frankie. Next one, we have this Viola, which has came out with the uh, the Kizuna Rebecca during Halloween celebration last year for Japan. This unit is a strength cerebral free spirit, and the special displays all enemy status, which is a pretty unique ability. Only, uh, you know, this character has it. Only Violas have it. Reduces cerebral and free spirit characters special charge time by one turn, and then reduces special bind by four. Oh. And then reduces resilience by five. Okay, if the enemy is immune to delay or status effects, then it will boost your Cerebral Free Spirit character's slot effects by 2.25. Delays all enemies for one turn and gives you a two times orb boost for those two classes for two turns instead. Okay, so she has differing effects depending on if the enemy has delay immunity or not. That's actually kind of interesting, I suppose. But the real big glaring issue is, I'm sure you guys realized it as well, 
Why are there, like, so many of these units are five turn debuff removers, but for some reason, this unit only wants to remove four turns of special bind. And then you look at the crewmate effects, resist two turns of special, reverse makes sense because she does reduce cooldown. That's actually kind of nice. But then you've also got... <sighs> why do they... Why? 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 Crewmate effect reduces it by five. Special ability reduces it by four. <sighs> Okay, support effect, attaching to any cerebral unit. If the enemy inflicts you with special bind, reduces the character's special bind by three. Only attaching to cerebrals. Okay, a little niche, little niche. It would have been cool if it was like two turns, but for the whole crew, that would have been a goaded support. Uh, unfortunately, not the greatest though. That's a little bit of a letdown. This unit, I don't think this unit's going to see a lot of play. All right, next we have the Kuro, which came out around the, the Don Krieg Kizuna Clash on Japan. So Kuro is a quick cerebral driven special, reduces five turns of attack down, block and badly matching into matching, doubles the color affinity of cerebral and driven for two turns. If you already have a color affinity boost, he adds 0.25 to it. Okay, again, pretty basic. Like, again, utility, orb change, and then a boost. Like, that's that's what you want to see. It's not a bad unit. Definitely will see some type of play. What have we got here? Uh, Cerebral and Driven Quick Slots are matching. And a bit of stat boost there. And a support that is, unfortunately, damage reduction and stats. That's a bit of a downer. I mean, for these units that are so limited, they definitely should be giving them... Um, like really good support effects that's that's that sucks honestly and then buggy also came out with kuro so let's have a look at buggy a strength driven slasher reduces special charge time by one reduces defense up and threshold by five boost driven and slasher characters orbs by 1.75 and doubles their slot effects for one turn after one turn has passed so the clock buff is applied with buggy special uh this is a good special i mean again like utility and then a really good boost but, but like the utility here is really good um and the special charge time is nice too resisting special reverse okay so it makes perfect sense and strength slots are beneficial to driven and slash yeah this unit's actually like kind of good uh unfortunately support effect is a bit of a letdown once again but honestly like buggy and kuro their specials really good good crewmate effects but unfortunately the supports uh, they're not going to be usable as supports at all and now we have the two brand new units we've got marco and we've got ace so let's go ahead and break them down remember that these units are going to be optimal for the upcoming super boss or just the, the kizuna clash in general versus blackbeard blackbeard is going to be the next boss um so let's have a look at marco quick fi fighter free spirit yeah quick fighter free spirit uh reduces bind uh, by five reduces defense up by five 5, 3x chain lock for one turn and heals the crew by 20x and if the captain is fighter or free spirit extends the duration of attack boost when the special is launched by one okay extending the duration of attack by one is kind of eh um but the utility again really good bind and defense up really nice and then a chain lock a bit of healing okay yeah i can see why this unit would be kind of good that's a pretty good special and then also quick slots are beneficial to fight a free spirit and he also does a little bit more damage towards strength units. So he's already quick. So here he has type advantage. He just hits even harder against uh, the uh, the strength type units. All right. So and his support effect is going to just give 10% base stats to free spirit. Again, pretty unfortunate. They're not, they're not actively giving these units amazing buffs here. Let's have a look at Ace though. Ace with this artwork. Look, look, that artwork is so, so good. But let's have a look. Strength shooter free spirit. Reduces attack down by six. That's good. Changes block, bomb, recovery, tandem, and unfavorable slots into matching. If the crew's max health is 50,000 or more, which is pretty easy to do in a Kizuna if you are using boosted units. Typically, if you're running like a 1.5 times HP captain, you're gonna get it. So like Luffy and the Straw Hats, for example. But still, 50,000 HP or more. Boosts shooter and free spirit characters attack by 2.25 for one turn. Doubles their attack for, uh, for two turns otherwise. Uh, okay, like, that's a good special though, because like, six turn attack down removal, pretty niche, not too many characters do that, and that orb change is incredible, that is ridiculously good orb change, and, uh, just getting attack boost on top of it, yeah, this unit's pretty solid, and the crewmate effects, more damage towards decks, and strength slots are matching, so if you have these two guys, strength and, uh, and, uh, and quick are going to be beneficial. He does have slot bind reduction. That's kind of interesting. And support, unfortunately, to shooters is just going to be base stat increase. 
not too exciting there. So that's the breakdown of the brand new Kizuna characters coming. Uh, this looks like a good banner. Um, personally, I probably want to go to the fifth multi um, on this one. But uh, like, again, if you're if you're a free to play player, I don't really suggest pulling on this banner, um, especially like there's there's no like new uh, legends that are debuting here either. So it definitely uh, loses the incentive to kind of pull on these types of banners. But if you are missing characters like Toki, Kaido Crew, Fire Tank Pirates. Uh, th those are the types of units you could only pull on these types of banners. But then again, we don't know the exact list of boosted legends that are going to be actually pullable on this banner. So we don't know that yet. But definitely stay tuned to the information when it does drop. We can actually head over to the event island real quick because there is something interesting that we need to point out. And it's the fact that we have access to this island right here called the Boss Token Quest. Now, unfortunately, you can only clear it five times. Um, it looks to be a pretty easy quest. But essentially, this allows you to farm a little bit of additional tokens before the Kizuna Clash goes live. So that when it does go live, you can immediately jump into action and start using your token. So it's kind of nice just to accumulate a little bit more. In previous, uh, like, super bosses or really important Kizunas, they would actually allow you to run it up to 100 times. Unfortunately, they're not, they're not doing that. Um, but five times, I mean, you're not going to get too many tokens from it. But, hey, it's better than nothing, I suppose, right? So, yeah, definitely keep... Uh, keep an eye out, right? It is going to be a super boss Kizuna. At this point, we don't know what the new Blackbeard does. At least, I don't know what it does. Um, if we do get the information, I'll leave a link down below in the comment section of this video so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, I really hope that the Blackbeard is a, is a worthwhile unit. Uh, it is, it, typically, free-to-play Kizuna units, especially ones that super evolve, have been pretty good so far. So I'm very excited to see what it's all about. But that is going to conclude this video, guys, breaking down the brand new support banner and the Kizuna banner. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.